With data exchange on the rise, having the tools to enable you to selectively combine datasets when there are multiple representations of the same features will enhance your ability to add new data while at the same time increasing the overall quality of the data. In this demonstration, you will see how to conflate two linear road features using the conflation tools in GeoMedia Professional. The focus of our attention today will be State Route 63, also known as New Leicester Highway. We want to conflate two available datasets, one shown in brown and the other in blue. The premise for this demonstration is to retain the geometry for the road or brown feature data while combining the attribution of the tiger or blue feature data. The first step is to define our conflation rules. I've created filters to find just the data of interest, New Leicester Highway and State Route 63. The results will use the road geometry and a custom rule to combine the attributes of both features. To determine how to link the features, I have entered my geometry rules, including a buffer zone distance, certainty rating, as well as weightings for proximity, orientation, and how much of the feature is in the buffer zone. Note that I can establish rules for other conflation scenarios here as well. For this demonstration, I am just conflating linear to linear features. Once we have the rules we're going to use, we'll run them to evaluate the links they create between the feature sets. Looking at the link results will give us a good indication of how effective the rules are. In this case, we have only three unlinked segments, so we will proceed ahead. After we create the link queues, we'll review them to evaluate how effective we think the rules are. Now at this point, it's a question of how confident we are. If we are really confident in our rules, we can just go straight ahead to conflation. And this would be a rather short demo. But I want to show you the additional tools that GeoMedia has to help you even when the data you're conflating is complex. We can evaluate some links and accept or reject them. I can call up a quick toolbar that lets me accept or reject the link and automatically takes me to the next link. This lets me quickly walk the route and accept the links. Depending on the level of precision I want or need, I can review the links or just take some samples to decide that everything is working as expected. Link 1 looks a bit off, so we'll delete it. The other links look OK, except for what looks like a missed link at the crossover. But we'll come back to that in a bit. Let's tackle those three unlinked segments that we had. They're stored in a different queue. They look like they're very long segments, so we could go back and adjust our rules for a larger zone. But I want to show you how to add them, so we'll do these quickly. I simply select the unlinked segment, and then find its partner. And done. The QData toolbar automatically takes me to the next segment. I'll quickly adjust the other two. Conflation rules may not always be perfect. Make sure you have a good set of tools to take care of the outliers. Done. And you'll notice that my queue is empty, meaning I'm done with unlinked segments. Now I'm going to go back to that segment that caught my eye and take a closer look at it. It turns out that I have an outlier. No problem. I can simply shorten the adjacent link and then add a new link and we're done. So that's a quick tour of the precision tools that you have available when you're dealing with complex geometry and the rules are not enough. And this does happen in reality.
Once I'm done, I am ready to run conflation. We also have tools at our disposal when we get to the conflation stage to include any outliers. So if I didn't review all my links and had unlinked segments remaining, I could choose to include them here. Again, it's a question of how much precision you need in the process. Conflation's done. Let's review our results. I'll bring in the newly conflated feature set and display it over the original data. My new data set will have the geometry from State Route 63 and attribution selectively combined with New Leicester Highway. The geometry is as we expected. And the look at the attribution shows that we have attributes from both of the original data sets as per the rules. So let's recap what we did today. We evaluated our conflation rules against the data. If the rules are enough, we can simply run conflation immediately. But if they don't pick up everything, we can go in and add or adjust links that the rules missed. With Geometry Professional, you have the ability to do a fast pass conflation or dive in and work to high precision when a complex data set warrants it. Thanks for your time. That concludes the demonstration on conflation tools in Geomedia Professional. Thank <laughs> you.